It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Top Out Brewery's fifth anniversary double cone, double IPA, coming in at 10.6% ABV. Look at that, 750 milliliter wine style bottle, cork and cage. Really excited by this one. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. They're always a little bit nervous with these beers with a cork and cage. Ever since I had a bottle of Brooklyn, it went bang on me. In a bottle shop in Roth in Cardiff. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. What a wimp I am, what a wimp. Listen to the glug on that. Can you hear that? That's the sound of lots of malt, lots of hops, that gluggy kind of engine oil sound as you're pouring it. Love it, love it. That's a clear sign that you've got something quite big in your glass. One to two finger white head. Look at the carbonation rolling up the glass. It is a deep, hazy, amber coloured beer. Look at that. Looks terrific. With it being unfiltered, it probably is bottle conditioned. I've got the date here. Uh, it got well, it not the, the best before date. It's the 28th of the 6th, 2020. It's currently December 2018. So we got 18 months on this beer, so it's super fresh. Sent down from the brewery, admittedly sent down from the brewery. Let's get the aroma. <laughs> um, I've had some double IPAs from America where it's also very dank. You kind of just like you at the beginning when I when I first started reviewing these beers, I'd be like, oh, there's not too much going on, I think, and and then and then as your experience grows with this style of beer. What I mean by dank is it's all closed in. All of the flavour, all of the loveliness of this beer is trapped, very much trapped in, in inside the liquid. It's not kind of blowing off huge perfumey kind of hoppy notes. It, it, it's very hoppy, but in a very different way. It's all kind of locked into the beer. A little bit of biscuit malt, lots of grapefruit. Mango, quite tart, smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, <laughs> Oh, wow, oh, blimey, oh, where do I start with this, Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what an amazing, amazing beer, it's still giving, it is still very much giving, 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 starts off quite malty, quite kind of, almost like sludgy, malty, barley wine type beer, and then it's just punch after punch after punch with these massive, massive hops that keep delivering on the chin. Grapefruit, mango, citrus, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, lemon peel, a touch of lime, passion fruit, and then the bitterness on the back end is just absolutely bang, bang. Right there, right there on the money. 
incredible, incredible beer. Do you know, I bet, I, I can almost imagine the thinking at Top Hog Brewery. They brewed this, they've stuck it in the fermenter, and they've gone, right, let's go and let's, it's got to kind of, it's, it's, it's more or less finished fermenting. Right, what are we gonna do with this beer now? They've gone over to the fermenter, they've got a little glass, they've gone over, they've opened up the fermenter, the little tap, you know them beautiful taps that keep on giving litre after litre after litre of beer? <laughs> I've been in at these breweries. Um, they filled a little glass of this beer and they've, they, they've looked at it and they've gone, oh, that looks good. And then they've smelt it and they've gone, hmm, we've got what we wanted so far. And then they tasted it and they've gone, let's go out, let's buy a thousand wine bottles, let's stick it in a 750 bottle, let's do something very, very special with the packaging of this beer. And that's what they've done. I, I, you know, it's only after being at breweries, visiting these breweries, and, 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 and it's that initial excitement when they try a beer from the fermenter, when it's more or less finished brewing, and they go, we have got something really special here. What can we do with it? What can we do with it? And boy, that beer is so worth that 750 milliliter bottle. Because that would have had to have been hand corked, hand caged. Um, it's a one-off beer. Well, I say one-off beer. It's not a beer that they will produce all of the time. Um, so it's it's it, it it's hand labor. It it's corking them, caging them. Next one, cork, cage. Next one, cork, cage. It's a very hands-on, hands-on effort, and that's only because of the liquid in the glass, because it's so spot on. I've only had one taste yet. It's so rich and velvety to begin with. It's so, it's so much like a barley wine. It's really giving like a barley wine. Big, malty, bready flavors. And then whack, here it comes. Warming in the pit of the, pit of the stomach from that 10.6% ABV. The hops are absolutely incredible. They crush your palate, crush your palate. Have a look at that guys. Let me rock it back and forth for you. An old brewer once told me, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. Look at that liquid. Look at the carbonation chasing that beer up the glass, that head up the glass. Look at the lacing, that terrific stuff. And I'm really excited because I've still got about a pint of this left. Um, Right, here we go. Uh, here at Top of Brewery, we're celebrating our fifth anniversary with this exceptional double IPA. A double version of our Defining the Cone IPA. Uh, we double mashed it and double the hops. For good measure, we also matured it on oak chips. Cheers, here's to the next five years. Okay, so they, they, they've, oak, they've kind of oak aged it. What an interesting decision. What an interesting decision. It's not something I look for in a double IPA, and it's thrown me a little bit, that kind of oak chip aspect of the beer. Wasn't expecting it. I said about the sweet malt, I said about the hoppiness on the back end, but come to think of it, yeah. Not that I was looking for it, but if I'm looking for it now, if I'm searching for that kind of oak flavour now, it's most definitely there. Touch of vanilla, a very small touch of vanilla. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. I'm gonna rate it, I really am gonna rate it. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe, please comment, please share the video with your friends and family. Um, I like this beer enough to give it a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.